Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to do API chaining in Catalon Studio and API chaining is a process whereby we extract a value from the response of one API and then provide the value to the request of any subsequent API. So this is called API chaining and in this particular session I am going to take an example of a SOAP a request or a SOAP API having XML responses and in the coming session I will also take an example of a REST JSON response. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let's get started. I will open my Catalon Studio and I am using Catalon Studio version 5.8.4. So this is the latest version as of the time of recording this video and here first I will create a project. So I will go to file new project and I will say API chaining demo so this is API chaining demo and this is for let me say XML so this is going to be API web service project and I will say ok so this will generate our project and while this is getting set up uh, let us take an example so I have to get some SOAP API so I will say a search for sample soap or just let me take one example country info service. So this is a online visitor which is available. Let me search for it this. So yes, this is the one. And you can see this is the WSTL URL for this particular SOAP web service. I will also make all these uh, URLs available in the notes section of this video. So all this will be available in the notes. Now here I'm going to take this URL and go to my Catalon Studio and I will go to the object repository and create a new folder. I will say this is country info service and say ok and inside this I will create a new web service request and here uh, I have to take some particular request from this SOAP web service so here I am using a chrome plugin called Whistler so this can I can use to browse Whistler just in case you do not have it let me just show you you can go to your chrome browser go to apps and go to web store and here you can search for Whistler so this is a plugin that helps us to pass a Whistler document and show us all the request and you can see I already have it once you have it you will have this icon here this is the icon for Whistler which is for which says browse WSTL and once you uh, hit any WSTL URL this will become activated so you can see here it is now activated and if I click here it will show me all the requests that are there or all the services which are there in this WSTL so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a request to list all the names of the countries so I will say list country names by name and this will show me the request here so this I'm, I will use in my Catalon Studio so here I will first say this is the name list countries this is the name this is going to be a SOAP and the URL I am going to use the same WSTL URL and say OK and here I will say load from WSTL and in the drop down I am going to select my service or my request which is a list country name by name this is the request and of course in the request message body I have to give this body so I will copy this from here and paste it here and this uh, particular API or this particular request does not have any authorization so I can keep this as it is uh, there are no headers I will keep this as it is and I will just run this to see if this is running fine and now I'm sending the request and let us see the result
so yes you can see we have got the result which gives us all the list of all the countries which has the country name as well as the ISO code now let me create another uh, API request from the same visitor I will say new web service request and this is to get the capital city so I will say get capital and again this is the same soap and I will use the same URL which is for my WSTL and say OK and again I will say load from WSTL and here I will say I will select this capital city so this is what I need and to get the request message body I will again use the Whistler plugin of Chrome and here I will select get the capital so here let me see yeah capital city is here so this is the body I will copy this and paste it here and let us say uh, I can give the here we have to give the country ISO code so in the first request you can see we are getting the country names as well as the ISO codes so you can select any country and its ISO code so here let me say uh, for Georgia the ISO code is GE so if I go here and say GE here in place of this string I will say GE and try to run this so this should give me the capital of GE or Georgia and let us just wait and see and you can see it is giving me the capital so similarly I can use anything for example IN is the capit is the ISO code for India I run this and this should give me the capital of India which should be New Delhi and yes you can see it is giving me New Delhi so this is working fine now we have to uh, chain our request so for that what I can do is the first thing is in the request where I want to get the input in the request I will take it from a variable so to get the value from a variable the syntax is dollar and in curly braces and then I have to give the variable name so I will say this is country ISO code however we have not uh, declared this variable anywhere so what I will do is I will go to the variable section and here I will add a variable I will give the name the same name country ISO code type string or you can select the type here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again get this from a global variable and as of now we have not defined the global variable so what I will do is I will go to profiles and you can create a new profile but I am going to use the existing profile and I will create a global variable here by the same name country ISO code now this is something you can even change the name this does not matter but I am just going to create this and let me say the value is IN and say OK so this is a global variable and here in the request now I should have this in the drop down so you can see this is here I will select this and then if I run my request now it should again run and give me the result for the capital of India that is New Delhi so let us try and yes this is giving us the result so that means it is able to get the variable successfully now what I'm going to do is I will create a test case where I will call these two APIs and what I'm going to do is from the first API which is list countries I'm going to fetch some particular value of the country ISO code store it in a variable and then the same variable will be referred in the second request which is get capital so let me just add this to a test case I can create a new test case and then add this or I can directly go from here go to this plus symbol go to the drop down and say add to new or add to existing test case I will say add to new test case and I will say this is test1 say ok so you can see this is here this has come here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the output or whatever is the out output of this first API I'm going to store it in a variable called response1 okay and then 
if you go to the script view you can see this is the script view let me minimize the import statements and also I will expand the text yes so you can see this is running our request and I am storing this in a variable the response in a variable called response one now I have to parse this response and fetch a particular value from the response now if you go to the uh, this request or this API again and if you go to the verification tab you can see there are some snippets available that you can use as verification snippets so one of the snippets is you can see it contains a uh, verify JSON value check is there XML value check is not uh, there until now so what you can do is for example I want to get this ISO code AX and I want to verify so you can click here and if you are on Mac press command plus K key on your keyboard if you are on Windows press control plus K so I will press command K or control K and you can see it has created this snippet to verify this particular node or this particular value so if you look here this is the let me copy this and show you here so this is the snippet here it is using the keyword verify element text and then the path of that particular node so it is the path and then it is verifying the value is equals to ax so now what we are going to do in our test case is I have some uh, code written here so we have to write a simple groovy code this is the code the first thing I am going to do is I am going to get the response body content so here I will say I can create a string and give it any name I am saying xml1 and response1 is the variable where we have stored the response and we are getting the response body content and then we have to parse it so I am using this particular statement which is the xml slurper to pass the xml so this is you can use store this in any variable I am using data value and then to get a particular node or value we have to use this statement so here you can see I am using a variable country code and data value is what we have used here and then I am using the path of that particular node so here you can see as we have got this path here this one you can see list of country names by name then t country code and name and then s iso code the same thing i am using here list of country names by names result then t country code and name and this is the value and this you can get this x path you can get from here you can click on any of your values in the response and press command key or control key on your keyboard the x path will come here and the same you have to use here in your script okay so here i am using this and then after this it is saved in a variable called country code and now i have to save this value in the global variable which is country iso code from where it will be referred in the second request so for that I just have to say use this statement here and I have to say global variable dot this is the global variable and it will store country code and that's it and then we just have to call the next API and we know the next in the next API which is get capital the country ISO code is being referred from here and this value is already being changed from our this statement okay so now I will go to my test and here I am just going to call the second API which is get capital so I will say add web service keyword send request and I can just say this one get capital and yes and that's it so let us try to run this I will save this and run this and let us see what happens
so you can see everything is passed and if I go to the console let us see what has happened so everything is coming here properly and just to verify it is actually extracting the values properly I will add some print statements so here uh, in the country country code after getting the country code I will just say println and I will say the extracted country code is and I will say plus and give this variable country code and here let me run this again save this and run this so in the console I should get this statement and I should get the extracted country code So this is done let me go to the console and you can see the extracted country code is AL so AL is the country code and just to validate uh, what will be the capital of AL let me go here and change this to AL and go to my get capital API and run this so just I want to check what is the capital of AL so that I can use it for verification purposes so you can see uh, here it let me save this and do it again so I think it is not getting the variable without saving so I'm running this again and yes so Tirana is the capital of AL uh, now what I will do is I will create a verification here and I will say I will press click here on this value and say command K so it is verifying that the capital city is this Tirana and now in the test I am going to update this send request to send request and verify so when you use send request and verify it also considers the verification statements that you have added in the API like this uh, the ones I have added so now I will save this and now I will run that test and just to verify everything works fine this test should pass so this is running fine and let us wait for the result and yes so everything is okay if you go to the log viewer and if I expand this you can see here verification is successful so this verification is successful and everything is working fine so this is how you can chain your API requests and the important thing here is take care of the X path or the path you use in your uh, verification or in your extracting so if I go to my test case and go to the script mode again let me show you again so this is the path that I have used so after using the XML slurper and here I am using this path list of country names by name results and T country code and here if you look at the XML I am starting from here list of country names by name result and then T country code and then the number of uh, occurrence of this so wherever I want to check or extract and then the ISO code so uh, there are multiple ways you can use uh, different groovy statements to get this this is one of the easiest way that you can fetch a response fetch a value from the response and then chain it to the subsequent request I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching